Hello guys, this is Julia Rosie, and in today's video, we will talk about how to make a realistic looking edit for your high-rise avatar and how to get the click to try on feature for your post. So high-rise does not give you that feature where if you want a different type of background, not just the solid plain one, you have to do it a different way and there's a way to do it. So I will show you that at the end of this video. But for the beginning of this video, I would like to show you how I make my edits so you get an idea of what my aesthetic is and what my style is. So first things first, I go to edit my avatar and I choose a color scheme that I like. Um, I don't think I have done blue yet, so I think we should try blue. I've already put it all together, I think, yeah. And then I just got to change the back of the hair and then we're good to go. So I could do it this way, I could do it, okay, blue eyes, perfect. I think it's good to go, guys. So usually I go to the camera and I press full because if you do one-to-one, -one, it cuts off some of your avatar. So I always do full, so it gets everything. And then I choose what pose I want to do. And I have over 100 emotes, so the possibilities are endless for me but that's not for everyone. Model is one of my favorite emotes ever. I usually do this emote a lot, so I might just do this one because it's quick, it's easy, and it's fast. So I take it the picture and then I press save and it gets saved to your camera roll. I press X and then I just, you know, save it or I press X again. And then I go over to Pinterest, um, and then this is where I find the background that I want. So I'm looking for like, you know, a blue type of background because my color scheme is blue, which I told you about, It ha there has to be a color scheme. So I'm just gonna do blue aesthetic background and we're going to find it that way. And usually for me, there has to be like a bit of a floor so my avatar can stand on something. Otherwise it'll look weird, like, this isn't really my aesthetic, like I don't really put my avatar in front of like a collage. I usually put her in front of a realistic looking background, like the beach. Something kind of like this, right? Because there's like, a you know, a floor there for my avatar to stand on. I mean, obviously it's sand, it's not a floor, but like, you know, somewhere for my avatar to stand on, basically. I actually think this is a lot better. So I'm going to download this image. And the next step is to get the background size to be, you know, high rises, manual size. So I like to go to Canva for that. And then I press the plus button. It already gives you that option. So usually I press Instagram post and I go to camera roll and usually I upload it, but yeah, I'm going to upload it. This is what I usually do. So I might as well do that. So I just uploaded it. Now I'm going to add it in. You gotta get the size right, make sure it fits. And if it looks a little bit weird, fix it so that it has more flooring in it. I think this is perfect. So now I'm gonna pr just press save. It saves for you once you press that download button. And then we're off to PixArt. So we just finished getting the background and the background size. The background could either be from Canva or Pinterest and the size I usually do for Canva. So now we're going to go to PixArt. And now is the perfect time to add in what we want to use. Next, we have to add in our avatar. As you can see, her skin complexion, her highlights and her contrast and all of her random brightness, it does not match with the background, right? So usually what I do is I adjust all of that. So I'm just going to make her stand the right way. I think this is perfect. So I go to adjust and then I kind of just play around with it, see if it, you know, matches. So I think that this is negative 20. Sometimes it's hard to get it exact. And so the contrast is a little bit less, I think. I would say maybe minus five. There is no clarity needed. I don't, I don't think there should be any clarity. Saturation could be higher. I would say maybe five. It doesn't need much. The shadows, maybe a little bit more. I'm trying to get 10. Highlight would probably be minus 10. And the temperature is a little bit more cold. So a little bit more to the left. We want 15. All right, 
So now you can tell it looks like it blends into the background a bit more. So I press apply if I like it. And then I go to the shadow. This is optional. You do not have to add the shadow in if you don't want to. But I do recommend you use adjust because that helps your avatar blend in with the background more. So I'm just going to blur this a little bit, maybe 25. And the opacity will be really low. I would say maybe like 15. All right. And I'm going to bring it maybe to here or maybe back a little bit. I think it looks better if it's back. Yeah, I think that's about right. I mean, you could kind of just see it. So now that that's done, usually I would stop here. So I just press the download button. I press close. And then I go back to high rise. So I go to edit avatar. And we kind of repeat this process again where like we take the picture. But this time it's going to be a little bit different. So pay close attention to how I do this because it's really, really important. So I press the camera. The camera is right below the X. See it? You, I press that. And then I either press full or one one, whichever one you want to do. Usually I just do whatever. But since this is going to be deleted anyway, you don't even need to. So I'm just going to stick with this. So I press post. I press next. And then I press that little X. See the X below share? I press that. And then I go to the gallery, which is on the bottom right. And then I go to my picture. So it's easy. It's, it's just like that, you know? So I press my picture. I click next. And then I just add my caption. All right. So we got our picture. And then we press share. It's shared. You press the X. And then you press the X again. And then you go to the photo. And then you press it. And look, it's there. It's there. <laughs> so it's all there for you. That is how I make my background. And that is how I make my looks. And that is how I get the click to try on feature. So it's pretty simple, right? It didn't look that hard. But a lot of people don't know how to do it. So I really wanted to show you guys how I make my, you know, outfit of the days. And how I make all of mine. So I'm just going to show you them. So I made this one. And as you can tell, I definitely did the background. I had to make sure that uh, my avatar matched the background. This one, I had to make sure it matched. Honestly, this is my favorite outfit of the day I've ever done. I don't know why. It just the colors are so bright and beautiful. And I just love this. Mwah! It's perfect. So this one is a little bit more dark and a little more edgy. I, th I like this one a lot, too. I hope whoever's in charge of the Dearly Model competition chooses this because this is my favorite edit. So I also did one for uh, Rise Apparel and for Elixir. I don't know if I said that right. I also did one for a cute neon look. So like, yeah, you can do a bunch of stuff. I actually really like this one a lot. It's a peach look. So no, no, this one, there's actually no flooring. That's something you can think about, right? If there is a background that has the exact same colors as what your avatar is wearing, but it has no flooring, you can just like you can just make the avatar bigger and take out like, you know, the feet. So it looks like she's standing on something, right? So yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, please thumbs up, please subscribe. And I will definitely make more videos soon. I just wanted to show you this because I know not many people know how to do that. So yeah, uh, thank you again. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye.